Welcome to part 13 of uh, tutorials for the um, PIC18F Q41 uh, family of microchip PICs. So, um, what have we covered so far? Well, we're well, we're well into two thirds into this. Today, we're going to look at using uh, I squared C to to um, show some graphical um, GLCD, graphical LCD. I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, we've looked at it in the past in um, Tutorial 11, we looked at the GLCD, but today we're going to use it in, in anger, okay? So what am I using? I'm using this um, a low pin count demo board um, that is um, attached and I'm still, I don't think I'm going to get this um, sample board, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, but I'm using the green one and that green one is sitting out in the lab underneath that GLCD that is operating there, okay? All right, we'll come back to that. Um, this is the layout I'm using. You can make your own layout. I am attaching the um, I square C connections to this, and the connections are as follows. You need the four connections to the um, GLCD. Uh, this this specific one is a, I guess it's a 1306. I'll come into that in a moment. Uh, you need to connect the ground, the VCC, the data. I'm doing that on number three there, and four. Four is I square C clock. Um, the VCC is dependent. You've got to be very careful with this. Make sure you get the right voltage. Don't over voltage. Don't short voltage. Get it right. Look at the specification for your device. But I have got a blue wire, yellow wire, red and black connected. If you look at my lab, you can see a yellow wire at the top here. You, the other ones are tucked up into that board. They are connected exactly as per that specification. Okay, so that setup has been done. I've hooked it up to this device exactly as shown here. I've got pull-up devices to make sure it works. And you can see it's working, but we're going to do what I recommend you always do as part of your setup of I squared C. I'm going to use Great Car Basic to do it in terms of discovery. I'm going to discover that device. You should always do it regardless using um, maybe an, uh, another discovery device. There are many on the market, but I'm just going to use Amazon. So, I'm going to use I2, um, I squared C discovery to, sh to ensure the setup works. Again, then going to look at how we do lines, circles, text, etc., etc., and then we'll look at that sprite program that um, what we have running. So let's crack over to um, the editor. Uh, let me just get rid of that um, programmer there. So here we are in the editor, and uh, we don't really know whether this thing's working. Let's pretend we don't know it's working, okay? Um, so I'm going to bring in the terminal. I'm going to show us the terminal. And uh, once that terminal's working, then we'll, we'll, you know, we'll have a better idea whether we're connected to it. So the program we looked at the other day was, um, was let me just get rid of that. That's needed in a moment. Let's clear that down. So I2 Discovery, that's in the um, suite of programs I have provided to you. Um, get rid of the terminal for a second. Um, and basically, it is, it, this is the code I showed the other day. Set up your chip, set up your I, I squared C, set up your serial, and I'm just going to run this program, okay? I'm just going to run it, and then we're going to look at the terminal to see what, it, what actually comes back on the terminal. There's the terminal. I mean, it's just programming it, and it's come. Back. Let's, if you don't believe me, I will just reset that. I will do it again just to make sure you know it's working. Here we go. We now know that our device is on address 78 and 79 um, hexadecimal number. So we know we have a device on there, and that's what we are going to be using. Okay. So if I come across to the um, the device, you know, the piece of code I want to walk through is this, okay? If I, let's have a look at what it does, and then we'll explain how it does it. So, I'm just programming that up. You can see that it's actually doing it. You can, on that screen there, I'll go to the lab, and we'll see it. Just pop up some text, and then it will start drawing some uh, primitives, okay? Some text, and now it's doing some primitives it's drawn some text some squares some carry a, a special character circles etc etc and decimal numbers etc how does it do that because it's uh you know this is quite um 
inherently harder than some languages, but in ours we think it's a little bit easier. So we set up the chip exactly as um, we have done in the past, and option explicit. We've already learned how to set up, use PPS to set up um, the I squared C and serial, because I've left I've left that still connected in these three lines here. Uh, we've seen before how we set up the um, the standard defines in terms of um, the um, where the LCDs were and how we set up I squared C. We we are assuming that you've got that set up, okay? All right, I'm assuming that you've done that part because we did that to do discovery, so we know that bit works. So how do I add in this capability? Well, I use something that's called an include statement, and I want you to include a GLCD dot H, and that is um, if you put um, less than, greater than around it, it will look in the in our specific library folder for you. And then it's a simple a case of adding a couple of defines, the GLCD type, and this is a 1306, and that is the special syntax you use. There are many different types, there's 30 odd types we support. Uh, this is a 1306, so you go hash define, GLCD underscore type, and then you specify the type exactly as shown here. And then you say what address it's on, GLCD I squared C address, and we know the address is on hexadecimal 78 so we go 0x78 and that is the setup done okay it is done you can now use variables as in here and strings and you can just put them on the screen you can use we saw the other day how we use h serial print to put things on the serial line well this is glcd print and i'm saying put it at location 00, zero the string great cow basic. I put a brace around it just to show you it's the same syntax. Um, X position is the first parameter. Y is the second parameter, 16. Put another string. Portability demo, etc. So if I just put the word end there, I will end my program there. I'm going to program it and we're going to see that out on the lab, okay? It's just programming it now. The programmer flashes beneath us and we can see what we've got on the screen. So on the screen there, we've got Great Cal Basic, my um, avatar and the year, GLCD portability demo. Why is it called that? Because this code runs on all chips. It's not specific to the um, 18F16Q41. So I'm, you know, it's a pretty simple language to use. I'll take that end off. It waits three seconds. We've seen the waits before. GLCD means GLCD clear screen. And then you I you know we we have things like box. Draw a box. And this is using some constants to draw it around the outside edge. A circle. You give it the X, Y, and the diameter. A line. So these are the basic primitives that we've got. So we've got many different primitives through from sine waves, um, uh, triangles, circles, just look in the help on the GLCD section and they're pretty extensive. So let's have a look what we've just put on the screen there. That's the text before. And we can see we've now got on the screen some text, a box, there's two boxes. And that was in our source code, a circle and a horizontal line. And so we've got these primitives and the performance of this I squared C device, we must go back to. I've set this quite slow at 100, um, at 125, I think, not 400, because I don't want to be playing with the chip frequency. Okay, you can do that later on yourselves. Okay, so back to the source code just to see what that code. Very simple. Take out that end statement in the source there, I just put in, and then there's a forever. Do forever loop. You can see here a do forever loop, which is a my favorite way of doing a loop. Oh, there's an end there, I'll take that out. And basically, it's just going to do some printing, it's going to print some long numbers out. And this shows you how to handle long numbers. We've not seen long numbers before, so a long number is in the range of very big. Okay, so it's a very big number, and you, you can access that by the um, suffix of underscore e underscore u underscore h for the high byte 
high byte, upper byte, extra long byte. So I'm going to print out a long number in its byte constituents. I draw some boxes, I can draw circles, filled boxes, filled circles, and I, if I program that up, it's extremely simple. Essentially, all commands are the same. There's a command, a GLCD command, an XY parameter, and then either a number or string. And it's the same really for, for um, filled circles. It's left, left, right, XY, the other XY the, for the extent, and it's very simple language to use. So let's look in on there now. And it's drawing those quite slowly because of the frequency I've set it to. All right, let's look back at some other code. I want to show you some sprites. We've seen the voltmeter before, but let's look at some sprites. Sprites um, are essentially, uh, it's a routine that enables you to play a game. And we'll look at what it's doing on the screen there. I'll just turn off that um, programmer. That's, there it is, it's bouncing away. We saw that at the beginning. That's um, no idea why that program was on the screen there. So let's just uh, get rid of that. That will resolve that lot. So how do we actually get that to to, um, to bounce like that? Okay. Well, essentially, what we've got is a is a we set up exactly the same in terms of the code segments. It's a very simple do loop. Look in here. I'll just indent that so you can see it clearly. It's essentially the the programmer of this particular code set, sets an X or Y parameter and draws a circle. And because of the way of the speed of the processor, there is quite a long delay in here to, for um, the delay. So it's essentially a for next loop with an if statement in the middle to draw the cursor. I mean, that little bouncing cur cursor. Let's just see what that um, sprite delay is set to. Two milliseconds. Hmm, let me just uh, set that to zero and we'll have a look what it does, shall we? Now, again, the, the, the frequency of um, display is a function of I squared C um, bus rate. And uh, you can get that a lot. Uh, that's a bit faster. Now it's moving. So, but this example code enables you to understand um, the capabilities of Great Car Basic. You can write ping pong if you wish. Okay. Finally, we've seen this before, the voltmeter. The voltmeter's now coming up. I've just programmed that on the other screen. I'm just going to, and here it is. And now you can understand how the voltmeter works. It's a box on the outside. It's using trigonometry, the include um, file for the trigonometry. It's using ADC for the um, volts itself and, and some text. And you should be able to walk that code on your own based upon what we've seen in the past. But it's essentially the same program and it's just developing it into a sophisticated um, solution. Well, that's a walkthrough of um, GLCD. That's what I wanted to cover today. Quite simple. Um, we've seen how we created a, we ended up with a simple voltmeter, but it's based upon these middle functions of um, simple primitives of printing out a GLCD printing screen, printing text, printing numbers, printing cons and constants to the GLCD. The libraries handle all that, boxes, circles. And we've seen how we can control positions by using X and Y. And this example shows us, the, these examples show us very well. So I hope um, that makes a lot of sense to you. Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing the same on a larger display or SPI. We haven't used SPI yet. We'll be using serial peripheral interface tomorrow. And uh, we'll do that to a GLCD device just so that we can see how it all works. And again, we'll be using and building upon what we've learned in the past. So, enjoy. <laughs>